the UFM CEO jumping off the porch with the dirty glove back. How we got it? We handle business, get the money first. And a nigga hate on us. We should know I got the halo on this hand. All right, so we got GFM CEO jumping off the porch with us today. Hi, you already know. 813, East Side, Tampa, Florida. Eat chop, baby, you already know. Yes, sir, man. How you feeling today, bro? Good, bless you know. God first, you know, I wake up and see another day. I dig that, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so go ahead and introduce who you got sitting behind you today, too, man. I got my brother, you know, Bacon Soul right here. You feel? I got okay. my brother right here, GG Ja. There it is. Family, man. La Familia, you know. I love we it. Step in. Yeah. So, what else you got shaking here in Atlanta, man? What else you got planned during this trip? Man, clubs, studio, you know, video shoot, you know, working, handling business, you know, keep it, keeping it going, consistent, consistent, you know. Okay. How do you like the vibes here in Atlanta compared to back at home in Tampa there? I like the vibe, you know, it's different, you know, different environment, different everything, you know, women, you know, everything, you know, it's different. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I love the city, regardless. Yeah. You know. So what's going on down in Tampa these days, man? What's new? Man, just a lot of, you know, just out there, you know, a lot of, a lot of thugging out there, a lot of, you know, it's going down and stuff, you know. Yeah. So what goes down on the east side then? The east side, a lot of, you know, put in work, you know, put in the work, put in the work, handling the business, you know. Love the east side. That's the hardest city, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel, you know, that's the hardest city, everything over there, you know. Okay. And so everybody, you know, you, anybody that comes from any other city, you're going to check, you're going to come through that regardless, you know. The Hillsboro, the strip right there. Yo, you know? nah, for real. Yeah. So what was your childhood like? What were you into as a kid growing up out there? Man, you know, my dad died in 96, so, you know, mm -hmm. I had to take care of my little brother and sister and handle business, so I had to grow up, and I had to grow up quick. So, you know, I had to take care of, make sure I got, you know, three, Got three sisters and two brothers, you know. Oh, wow. So I had to make sure they straight. Were you prepared for that? Was that an easy transition considering you were nah, so young? No, nah, no, nah, child ain't gonna never be ready to be grow up and be a man so quick. And John got, you know, got put food on the table right there, you know. And stuff. So my daddy, he was good, you know, he had his own businesses, everything, you know, he an entrepreneur and just, you know, just a victim of the streets, you know, another family, you know. Yeah. How the system go. So when would you say you jumped off the porch then? How old were you? Like, I, like 10, 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's young right there. Yeah, just doing dumb, like breaking in schools and stuff, you know, doing breaking in cars and stuff, stuff like that, you know, getting to shit. Like never really not, like, you know, my first time learning to get some money when I working with my mama and Tabby Tribune doing paper routes. That's when oh, I really real? starts. Yeah, I was 12, I was, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like 12. Then I just start doing a little work with my, <clears throat> my goddaddy and stuff, fixing up houses and stuff. So I been touched money when I was 12, so I knew the value of getting my own money, you know? Yeah. So then I took, I took heed of that and ran with that, you know? Okay. So what you do after school? Did you go to college or? No, no, I dropped out in like ninth grade. Ninth grade, right? Yeah, Milton. I went to Milton High. Yeah, I went to Milton. Dropped out and shit. So what your mom think when you dropped out of ninth grade? She was mad. She was hot. <laughs> you know, she always looked at me, wanted me to go to school and then get right and go to college and stuff, because I'm the oldest. So, you know, she always know I had to make an example for my brothers and sisters. Yeah. But, you know, i got a different way and it's going to make it's gonna make it happen, you know. It's going to work regardless. I feel that. I'm a hustler. Yeah. You know, anything I touch is going to turn gold. Yeah, and unfortunately, I had to go sit down a couple times. Right? Yeah, yeah, I had to go. Yeah, I had to, went to prison twice when I was like, I went to prison when I was 22, you know, went to Columbia CI, that's the trenches, everybody know what that is, you know. I went there, did that 19 months and stuff, you know. Then the second time, I went and did five years and stuff on, the, on crazy, you know, handling business and stuff. Shit got ugly. Hmm. Laid down, handled my business like a real nigga should, you know. And then did my time, came home and bubbled up, you know. Hmm. So I'm here. So well, my own record label, everything. Yeah. So what was the biggest lesson you learned by having to go sit down that second time for those five years? Oh, I done seen a lot of like, you know, killing, people getting stabbed, people tracking out on two shoes, just all type of just everything, like going down, you know, and stuff. And I, always, I ain't never been no game member, I always been in my own lane, you know, and I rep my GFM and st stand on that. And everybody in chain game that know me know what, you know, they know what time it is, know how I handle business. Yeah. Keep that shit solid. So go ahead and explain what GFM is for oh, people. Oh, God, Family Money is a movement, you know, the way of life, you know. 
Got family money, entertainment. Yeah. God, you gotta put God first. You feel me? Get up. You gotta thank God. You gotta just be thankful, you know, because He won't get us up. And then, you know, you put your family, you ain't gonna put them, the money over your family, you know? You feel me? Then you gotta get the money. You gotta get the bags. Without that, we gonna starve. We ain't gonna, we gonna you know, the people want their money. Yeah. You know, you know how this system go out, yeah. So when you came home, did you have to switch up your lifestyle co compared to how you were living before? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, to, I had to switch out a lot. I had to, yeah, I had to slow down. And I was a wild. I was, a, I was out there, really, really out there, wild and out there. You know, I, I was a target out there. So, you know, so I had to slow down and change because I was going to prison or in the graveyard. I was moving so fast. You know, you know, just wild out there. So that shit taught me a lesson to sit down. A lot of, I read a lot of books of knowledge, you know, getting my mind right, you know, getting my mind just building on my, my knowledge, you know, getting wiser and stuff, you know, this shit, this shit chess, not checkers. Mm -hmm. Nah, definitely, man. Mm -hmm. So is this how you planned it when you came home? Is like, I'm going to do the music or? Nah, I, nah, nah, really, I ain't, I was just like freestyling in, in the chain game, just messing around and stuff. Like I never really, like, I never even thought about this rap, you know, till I see my brother right here. I came home, I seen him on TV, on YouTube. I said, damn, I said, yeah. So you feel me, I just didn't, I just, you know, I had his back and then it just opened doors. Like, you know, shit, we would do this together, you know. We would build, we gonna build a strong platform, you know, foundation, yeah. you know. So how long have you been rapping now then? Uh, like six months. That's it? Yeah. Okay. That's it. So were people surprised when you popped up, like, hey, check out my song? Or, <laughs> yeah. or were they kind of yeah. expecting it? No, nah, no, nah, people definitely were surprised and stuff, you know. But I've always been, like, you know, I've always been turned lit out there in the streets. I always got my face clean, you know, always, was always up there, you know. Always handling business, always did my thing, you know, took care of my people, my brothers, we all, you know, we're a family. Yeah. So, yeah, I, so when you put that in now, you know, now the video, now you put the, put the cameras on and light camera action, it's like I, I didn't even been doing this, you know. <laughs> so that first time you hit the studio, was it like natural for you? No, no, nah, my first studio, I had built my own studio before I even like, I had built my own studio in, in the trailer and stuff and I had to find myself in there, you know. Just had to find it. And when I first, I thought it was going to be easy when you go and I said, and then my own, uh, shout out to uh, Corey, you know, Annex, you feel me? He, he was an engineer and stuff. So I'm like, I'm in there. I'm like, oh, I told him, like, yeah, it ain't that easy. No, it wasn't that easy. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. I, how long did it take for you to get comfortable in the booth then? Mm, about probably like a month. Okay. Yeah, I'm like just going in there, you know, keep going. I got nothing, you know. Yeah. So uh, was the easy transition, you know, going from the streets to prison to the music industry or? No, nah, uh-uh. Not really, no. Nah. No, I, just, I go, you know, I, I'm, I got an ambition, so I'm a hustler. And I like, come, like, I like, you know, I like missions and tasks, you know, goals. I like to get things done, you know. How would you compare the music industry to the streets, or is there no comparison between Oh, it's, that, it's the same thing. It's all, you know, some people, some people telling, you know, another person's story, some people telling lies, and some people telling them what they've seen and what they've been through in life. You know, all the, and then, you know, it's entertainment, you know. Yeah. So. So what's your creative process like? Do you be writing or you just be freestyle? I, be, I, I, I freestyle more, but I write a little bit. I'm learning, learning on the writing thing and all that, trying to get learned, all that, master everything into this, yeah. you know. So what do you feel like brings out the best out of you and your music then? Is it like when you're in a good mood? Is it when you're going through some real shit? Is it when you're pissed off or what? Um, it's just like when I'm vibing, this, the vibe, vibed up, you know, vibing and stuff. Good and just posting, you know. But not when I'm mad, no, I don't know. No, no. <laughs> You're not trying I to think, yeah, I ain't, if I'm mad, I ain't trying to write. I ain't trying to, yeah, but I, that's right. That's something I need to learn. Like, if I'm mad, I need to go get in there instead of going, you know, doing something else or something, you know, getting there somewhere. Yeah, just kind of vent to the microphone. Yeah, vent to the mic. Yeah, I got to, yeah, I got to get on, yeah. That's tough. But other than that, I just be vibed out in a turn, you know, I'm, I mean, I'll be up, you know, I'll be, I got a lot of energy. I see that. <laughs> so what's been some of the biggest challenges, you know, of being a new artist for you right now? Um, just the challenges, just, you know, just, just putting out there, you know, getting everybody to listen here, you know, just getting out there, promoting and stuff, you know, new to it. So I'm learning all the ins out from promoting, promoting your music. You know, you got you to gotta invest in yourself, you know. I was like, you know, I, I invest in myself, you know. I don't mind, I don't gamble or none of that. So I'd rather, if I'm, I, I'd rather invest in myself, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially when you're an indie artist, man, you, you got to invest in yourself. Yeah, and I'm independent, you know, I'm independent out, out the gate, you know, I I want all mines, all mines, just like, just like back in the days, I want all mines. So what's some of your goals for your music career? What are you trying to accomplish out of this? Oh, having one of the, one of the biggest record labels in Florida, even in the United States, whatever. Definitely, so I can pass down to my kids, generation and generation. I can sit back, 80 years old, whatever. I'm a multi-millionaire, you know, and my, my, all my generation, you know, I'm building, building on generation wealth. Yeah. That's the goal. Nah, absolutely, mm -hmm. man. And then, you know, people in the streets, whatever, you know, it's all about, always about, like, you know, if you're doing what you're doing, you do what you do, but you gotta make something happy. You gotta turn it into, you know, investing into a corporation, turn it LLC, that's something you love, instead of just being in the street, doing this and doing that, doing that. You know, you feel me? So that's how I, I take a, tell everybody to invest in yourself. Nah, absolutely got to, man. And hey, you gotta have faith in yourself first quarter. Like, you gotta have faith in you before you have, anybody have faith in you. You know, you gotta have faith in yourself and God, you know? Yeah, definitely got to have that confidence too, man. You can't be unsure about yourself. You got that confidence. Like, the first time I did my little show, my, little, my first show and stuff, definitely was like, you know, nervous and stuff. Yeah. But I get in there and I just, Getting locked in there like a pit. You feel me? I'm in a, I'm in a dog fight. You know, four times. You already know. So what's going on with the music scene in Tampa, man? A lot of talent coming oh, yeah, out yeah, the yeah, city. Oh yeah, right it's now. up, it's up. Like it's everybody getting there. Cause back then you know it's like Jerk City and all mm -hmm. that. Like people were doing that Jerk stuff. You know, we didn't know handling business and stuff. You know, working, yeah. you know, getting in. But you know, but yeah, it's a whole different. It's different. A lot of talent out there. Like a lot of people doing their thing. And just gotta keep going and going, you know, you feel me? And believe in themselves and handle the business for the for the city eight one three and put on for Tampa, you know. It need me definitely need to be more unity and stuff. Really? My our city is like more airman for these self type, you know, and stuff like it's got you know, it could be more in unity though, you know. Yeah. Why do you feel like people overlook the talent in Tampa until recently, man? Because like you said, with a long time, people are overlooking Tampa, man. Definitely, because you know it's about the position. Who's in position? You know who's in position at that time. You know it's on the person. Whoever got the title, whoever got the, whoever rocking out, who got it. You gotta, you know, you gotta put on. You gotta, you know, you gotta make. You gotta make the nation feel you. Say, yeah, okay, yeah, what? What is that? Where he from? Yes, you know they. They like, you know they hitting them on the list. That's all. That's what it's about too, though. You know. That's why I've been so overlooked and stuff. And then everybody was on, you know, the jerk that was at the time and stuff, but you know, everything, you know. Yeah. Now everything, everything now is, you got trap me, you got, you know, everything, you know, drill, whatever. Whatever you want, Tampa got it. Yeah, so many different we sounds coming we out of the city right we now. We got it, for real, like, you know, East Side, Trap Baby, you know. Yep. Mm -mm, no dance no more. So uh, talk to us about this new single, man, COVID Flow. COVID what was flow? your inspiration going oh, into this? Oh, definitely. I, I had COVID. <laughs> you had COVID? Yeah, I had COVID. I, was COVID. I had COVID. I was out of there, man. You know, <laughs> them, uh, that shit crazy, you know. And God bless everybody going through it, that went through it and stuff, lost their families and stuff. And they, I go for it and I God bless them and their families, you know, going through that time of COVID, you know, because that's you know, my, my, my homeboy, you know, his... His people passed, you know, from that song. That shit, you know, that, that shit's sad, you know? Yeah. So, but I had got COVID, got, you know, I was right, and I went straight to the booth, you know? And then COVID flow. <laughs> I went, went off to the top, and one, one that's it. One, went on that bed and just killed it. Mm -hmm. Non stop. Nah, that shit's dope, too, yeah, man. I appreciate that it. One. Yeah. Yeah. So what can you tell us about the project, man? Trap Pain Music just came out. Well, my, you know, my story, you know, my life, you know, just little things, you know, entertainment, you know, the struggle, what's going on, stuff like that, you know, it's trap pain, you know, it's pain out here in, in the trap. It's pain out here in the trap. So, you know, it ain't always, you know, it ain't always good, it ain't always bad, you know. Yes, you got to thank God we're getting up. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So did you put a lot of your pain and a lot of your stories into this album mm -hmm. then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So was the therapeutic recording those songs? Like kind of just revisiting everything? Like Yeah, yeah just like going through like everything, you know. Yeah. Just going through all everything I went through and stuff, you know. Yeah. 
So what's the next single, next video you plan to shoot off of there then? Um, oh, trap music. Okay. Trap music, trap music, yep, yep. Trap music. Did you put any features on there? Yeah, I got my, I got my family, you know, my peoples, you know, my, you know. I got, you know, my brother Gigi Jaw, I got bacon soda, you know, we all in there. Okay. And I got, uh, and I got my own, shout out to Bolo, West Coast, you know, Bolo the Hustle, I got him on there. And I'm my brother over in the West Coast, you know, Long Beach. Shout out to all my people in Long Beach. You know, they love over there on the West Coast, you know, I love the West Coast too. Cause you go, they show you love out there, you know, so definitely networking is the most thing we got to do out here. Networking, let people see you in different, oh, yeah. different cities. Yeah, one states. thing for people to see you on the internet, it's another thing to be, you know, live in their face. Yeah, and and see the end, yeah and especially we, if you got that good energy. Right, right. right that you're going to be able to feel that shit. Yeah, yeah, you're going to feel that energy when you walk in that door, right? Nah, definitely, man. Who were some of the producers you worked with on this project then? Oh, oh, Body Joe. That's my engineer. And, yeah, pretty much. I was just locked in one thing, you know, I'm learning, you know, so I really be like locked into something. Yeah. So. I'm learning all the ins and outs of it, definitely. Yeah, this was your first project, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Yep, yep, my first project. So was it easier than you thought, or was it harder than you thought, kind of, you know, figuring out the business side of everything, too? Oh, definitely the business, like, you know, the black and white, the paperwork is everything. Like, every paper, that's the hardest part. That's not, you know, that's the main thing. You got to have that foundation laid out, because you don't want nobody taking, you know, you want your money. You want your money first. You know, you want your money off, for real. So, but yeah, the music and stuff, yeah, it was just, you know, something I love, something I love, I'm gonna do it. I'm having a business, so music is definitely something I love, so, you know, and I got, you know. You wish you would've started at it sooner or was this perfect timing for you? It's just per to perfect timing. Everything happened for a reason. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't like too, like, with patience, you know? <laughs> patience too, you know? I got you. And outside of the music, man, you got your own clothing store mm -hmm. out there in Tampa, man? Mm -hmm. and I'm remodeling it now. Okay. The GFM World Fashion. I'm remodeling it now, right now. Okay. Where's it located at? I'm Bush and 50th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right there by Bush Gardens. Mm -hmm. Not too far. Right down the street. Yeah. So what was your inspiration? Why did you decide to go ahead and open the store then, man? Um, like I said, like things like, and especially like when things come to me, to me and certain things, like it be from God, you know, so like it came to me and it was definitely a blessing. So I ran with it and like invest in yourself again. Yeah. Gotta build them LLCs. LLCs back to back. Yeah. That's the game. Have you always been big in the uh, fashion as well? Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Always been fly. Yeah. Always. Since, since, since little, little then. And mm -hmm. yeah, just kind of speak on the importance, you know, of um, like, like you said, uh, street, people coming from the streets, investing into these legitimate businesses mm -hmm. like that too, man. Why, why do you feel like that's so important? Oh, that's so important because, you know, you don't want to, you want to study you working for a nine to five and these people bird feed you, your corporation getting so much money and then you work, you know, you work for yourself and you're doing your own thing. So you don't got to worry about this, this company from the crash or this, this, this manager or the boss man don't like you for some reason something. You gotta feed your family now. Oh, I'll fire you. You, you, you know, boom, type, type stuff like that. And it's always about yourself. You know, being your own boss. You know, it's too much out here to do that. You got it's too much. It's too much. Like, dude, man, so many ways to be a boss out here. That's real. It scare you. <laughs> for real. real fact. What has being a father taught you about life? It's everything. You know, love. You know, unconditional love. Cause you know, when kids gonna love you no matter what. You know, hmm. through ups and downs from the jail cell, from, the, from back at home, you know, and everything, you know, with nothing to something. You know. yep. Give you a real reason to live out here too. That man. Real reason. That's go hard sure. and go fight, fight, fight for everything you want. Make yeah. sure they get it at the end, you know. You leave them with something. Absolutely. Uh, what's some advice you would share with the youth for the new generation coming up right now? Oh, just, you know, stay, stay focused and, you know, you gotta keep that right people, the right, the right crowd around you. You know, you gotta ha keep positive people around you. You always gotta keep positive people around you because that's that's what makes you make sure you know empire. You know your foundation. You got negative people and all that, then you on the one, on 
gonna wonder why, why, why everything like looking bad and stuff, you know? You're gonna be wondering why everything looking bad because the people around you, you know, that energy, that's the, it's all about that energy. So you want to keep positive people, people that motivate you. You say, you say, sometimes you want people that, you feel me, that you know, up right there, you feel me? So you look up, you know, you want to be in that position, go up, you feel me, all different ways, you know? Yeah, no, that's true right there. Mm -hmm. but. Just stay, you know, putting God first and have faith in yourself. And yeah. you can do it. You can do it. So what should be your plans for the rest of 2022? What are you trying to accomplish this year? Mm, more businesses and more money. <laughs> Just staying out of the way and staying blessed. Yeah. Yep. More music, you know, just getting stuff done. Yeah. Good show, man. All right, you got any last words? Any shout outs you'd like to give before we wrap it up here? Okay, well, you know, I would, you know, shout out to, you know, Tampa, Florida, everybody, you know, east side, south, north, west, you know, everybody, you know, you know everything good. Shout out to all the music. Shout out to all everybody. Love me, support me, you know, show, show me mad love out here. I'm gonna keep going and keep doing the thing, you know. You know, I already know. 100 GFM CEO. This is how we got it. We handle 